Point. First to correspondent Jeff Paul, who is covering this live breaking story for us from Tel Aviv. Hi, Jeff. Yeah, Martha, and we're watching the images right now as we wait for those Red Cross vans and vehicles to cross into Israeli territory like we've seen over the past three days. So far, no confirmation of them making it into Israel yet, but they are on their way. But like we've seen in previous days, Martha, today had a few delays, and that really just speaks to just how fragile this deal is between Israel and Hamas. Not a lot of trust, obviously, between both sides. But here's what we know about the 11 who were released today. We know nine of them are kids. The two youngest, just three years old, also two moms in that group as well. Just the day before, 14 Israelis made that same journey where they now join 26 other Israelis released in the previous days. Now, they're all in some sort of stage of treatment and recovery after spending roughly seven weeks, some more than 50 days, likely exclusively in the darkness of Hamas tunnels. However, there are still well more than 100 hostages that have yet to be released by Hamas. So we could see more being freed over the next two days as Qatari officials broke the news a little while ago about extending the temporary truce. truce. Israel had previously said that they would extend the pause in fighting by one day for every 10 additional Israeli hostages released. But keep in mind, once Hamas stops releasing hostages, Israeli forces will likely resume their combat operations in Gaza to both eliminate Hamas and rescue their remaining hostages. We want to receive another additional 50 hostages uh, beyond tonight on our way to bringing everyone home. Uh, and as soon as that framework expires, Israel will continue with full force towards those three objectives, eliminating Hamas, making sure the Gaza Strip can never be a security threat to Israel, and releasing all the hostages. Now, we know more aid trucks made it into Gaza today as well, and we are awaiting confirmation that more than 30 Palestinian prisoners will be released from Israeli jails. Martha. Okay, Jeff, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.